welcome back to the program, boys and girls. In this second part, I'd like Daddy, to... Daddy, 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 we got him, man. Marvin Lewis agreed to do an interview. This Come is on. big. Ma- yeah, man. Marvin, do you... Marvin, Marvin, you there? Listen, Marvin, do you feel bad about the fact that, really, the Bengals uh, still look pretty sloppy and inconsistent? You do. I mean, the, 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 the why we do what we do is to be the very, very best, to, to, to have the opportunity to watch guys achieve the goal of being world champions. So how do you justify that in your mind? I guess degrees of success. Do you have any idea how the Bengals can get to the standard of other NFL franchises? Uh, There's no set formula on how you get there. Um, uh, Marvin, have players begun to revolt against Dalton, like, you know, bring voodoo dolls to practice or maybe say, Pepper Potts, Pepper Potts, we signed you on by casting lots? I, I think the, 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 the character of the team is such that uh, they're not satisfied. Marvin, this is Dario here, but I mean, Dalton is their quarterback. All jokes aside, the Bengals players couldn't have liked when Hoji made fun of their quarterback like that. Our guys took that to heart. But I mean, maybe the team is just stale, like um, bad gluten-free bread after having you around for like 50 years. You know, you, you, you can't be stale. You're right, you can't be stale because then they tune you out, you know. And uh, you have to continue to play, uh, long, you know, keep going. So what was the best part about not getting fired after last season? Because we didn't, as coaches, we didn't have to move out of our environment and set up a new teaching environment. Okay, well, I think we better let Marvin go. We've bothered him enough. By the way, this portion of the program is brought to you by Pet Peak. Fence windows for dogs. Preparing your dog for space travel, one day at a time. So, Hoji, now I want to look ahead to the Bengals game against the Browns this coming Sunday. Cleveland seemed like they were throwing in the towel when they traded Trent Richardson. Brandon Whedon had already gone down with a thumb injury and they were 0-2. But out of nowhere comes third-string Brian Hoyer to lead them to 31 points and a win over the Vikings in Minnesota. Tight end Jordan Cameron had three touchdowns. Josh Gordon returns from a suspension to get 146 yards and a touchdown in his first game of the season. Heck, they ran for 103 yards on only 17 carries. Better than they fared when Richardson was there. Yeah, they're gonna lose, man. No, I mean, come on. If the Bengals can stop Aaron Rodgers, what can this Hoyer guy do? And the Vikings, they have a bad secondary, and they still picked them off three times. The Bengals got four sacks against the Packers. Uh, think about the pressure that will be on Hoyers. Uh, the Bengals will find a way to lose, man. Maybe they'll just keep bringing 12 people onto the field, or maybe Joe Hayden will shut down A.J. Green. Look, Joe Hayden's great, but A.J. Green has been matched against him before, and, and he did great. I mean, he got 135 yards and two touchdowns. That's not too bad. It was a, it was a bit of a shocker in the game versus the Vikings, but I said the Bengals uh, have nothing to be worried about. Of course they should be worried. Of course they should be nervous. This is the Browns. Girls and boys, let me give you a little bit of history about the Browns and the Bengals. You see, Paul Brown had two little boys, Mike Brown and Mick Brown. Mick was the handsome one, a three-star athlete. Mike, meanwhile, really loved Cornish hens and tossing his biscuits. Paul loved Mick and promised him that he would let him run his football team when he grows up. Paul's wife, Nikki, felt bad for little Mike and said, Make a little football team that Mike can run as well. Paul... A loving husband, loving husband that he was, decided to make the Bengals with the sole purpose of giving Little Mike something to do. The results speak for themselves. The Browns dominated the AAFC, winning four championships in four years. Following the 1949 season, the AFC folded and the Browns won a championship in their inaugural NFL season, man, as well as in the 1954, 1955 and 1964 seasons. From 1965 to 1995, they made the playoffs 14 times. The Bengals... Well, they just really like to win a playoff game. Well, uh, well, I think that's uh, all we have today. Thank you, uh, Hoji. And uh, special thanks to Marvin Lewis and the Northampton Clown. The clown we'll, yeah. see you, we'll see you next time, boys and girls. Uh, I am Daddy McDuck, and this is... And I am Hoji the Electrics Moji. Bye-bye. Girl, I'm Bye-bye. leaving you tomorrow.